welcome to the disgusting beer review. Beer Garden Edition. Today we're going to be reviewing the Rhinelander Export Beer. This is a shorty bottle sent to us by Jeff Barks out of Indiana. Not much in there. Cute little bottle. Urine, urine yellow. That's about it. A little bit of carbonation, not too much. Not much uh, action going on in there. Not a lot of head at all. And that was a pretty aggressive pour. Let's see what we got here. Sugary. Sugary smell. Sugary and beer. Mm. Ah, interesting. Let's see what we got here. Wow. That's interesting. Look at that, the head is almost gone. Not like the Carbonation uh, is like no. nothing. Wow, that is a weird flavor. Let me try it again. Once again, they forgot to add hops. I don't know why these guys make such a mistake all the time. But, uh, very sugary flavor. Strange. Very unusual. Uh, corny and sugary. So standard. Yeah, yeah. But this one has a little different aftertaste. It's got a little bitterness there at the end, but it tastes like someone took table sugar and just dumped it in there. Yeah, I would uh, recommend staying away from these. I would probably pair this with, uh, Dad, I know where you are. Uh, let's see, you're in Wisconsin, maybe some Spam. So Spam? Fried Spam in Fried. the morning. Okay. Knock it back with one of these, wash it down. Maybe some cheese. Nothing good though, cheese, just sharp cheddar or something like that. Nothing special. Generic Wisconsin stuff. I'm going to give this one... I'm going with one and a half mark heads on that one. Okay. You like the sugar? It, well, more than the St. Ides, but it's it's uneventful, to say the least. Not a good beer. Except in this this situation. <laughs> well, you've already tried it, so don't don't give me any uh, no. insights. But there's not much head. I can tell you that, like like I thought there would be. But it's only half the bottle, so I'm only going to get half the head, right? <laughs> So you have to swish it around here. There you go, dog. Watch how fast it disappears, though. It's really, really, really white. I've made beer, and it's never that. Look how it's really white. That's crazy. Anyway, we'll. Uh, it's a half a glass there. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a broken record. This is only my second review, so it's a. Uh, it smells like old beer. It smells like beer. Stale. Yeah, Stale. they 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 say they I guess they put hops in here and stuff. I don't get that. I don't smell it. Not much. No, no hops. It's colder. I like the coldness. It's a little colder than the last beer I tasted. Sweet. Very it is. Sweet. It that's, is sweet. That's a good description. Sweet. So that kicks it up a little notch for me, because I like some Belgian beers, the sugar cane stuff. That uh, I like that kind of beer. So yeah, there's no foam. It's Belgian, all right. I, Wisconsin. I just switched it again, and it's already gone, almost. Maybe we should use those specialty Samuel Adams glasses, and it'll cascade better. But I wouldn't waste a glass like that. It, very nice. Mm -hmm. Sweeter. Still sweet. I would compare this. I, I would uh, pairing. Sweet food, spicy, um, maybe after Black a, Forest if I was at a wedding and it was a long day and I drank a lot of stuff, I could probably drink this at the end of the, at the night. After dessert, I could probably do that. Maybe over some ice cream, <laughs> you know, get rid of that. Oh. This is actually better than the last one. So, you know, what? I'm just going to go right to that. I need the, the, the things. Oh, this yep. is better than the last one I did, which was uh, the uh, St. Ides. They kicked it up a notch. There you go. It's a... The question is, is if you go from one to one and a half, is that a 50% increase or a 100% increase? It's a tough question. This is not a math review. Well, you don't know the answer, and do you? we don't know algebra here. Okay, so. well, I'm going to kick it up a notch and give it one and a half of these guys. Woo! So, All right. it's not great, 
but it's I'm looking for at least a two on the next one. Our biscuit likes it. All right, thank you. All right, we're re reviewing the uh, Shorty Rhinelander Export Beer from uh, Refreshing as Wisconsin's Northwoods. And for the Shorty Beer Beer, we got a uh, biscuit here to help us out. Say hi, what, what, what better person to review a Shorty Beer with? Yeah, <laughs> the biscuit right here. It's got T-Rex legs. Uh huh. Awesome. So. Alright, there's um, almost no carbonation. Right now it looks like a decent, a decent head on it. Look how fast it goes though. It's just bubbling away. What are you smelling in there? I don't, I don't want to be too much uh, swayed by the other, by what the other reviewers have said, but I, I it does have a, it does have a sweeter smell. Maybe because I'm drinking, uh, used to drinking St. Ives, but uh. <laughs> This does have a much sweeter smell. So it smells like beer, but it has a sweeter smell to it. All right, we're re reviewing the uh, Shorty Rhinelander Export Beer from uh, Refreshing as Wisconsin's Northwoods. And for the Shorty Beer Beer, we got a uh, biscuit here to help us out. Say hi, what, what, what better person to review a Shorty Beer with? Yeah. <laughs> the biscuit right here. It's got T-Rex legs. Uh-huh. Awesome. So... Alright, there's um, almost no carbonation. Right now it looks like a decent, a decent head on it. Look how fast it goes though. It's just bubbling away. What are you smelling in there? I don't, I don't want to be too much uh, swayed by the other, what the other reviewers have said, but I, I it does have a, it does have a sweeter smell. Maybe because I'm go, drinking, uh, used to drinking St. Ives, but uh. <laughs> This does have a much sweeter smell. So it smells like beer, but it has a sweeter smell to it. Mm. It does have a little bit of hint of bitterness, like, but it's not, it's not, you know, drastic or anything. So it smells pretty normal. It smells like a uh, sort of like a regular beer. It does have a little bit of sweeter smell to it. So let's, go, let's give it a roll. Let's go with it. Here we go. Still has that, has that definitely very distinctive uh, corn type of taste to it. I'll say this, I, I think that it's, it's a much smoother beer than I guess some of the other ones that we've had before. It goes down smooth. Um, I'll say there's, no, there's nothing really complex about it. There's nothing really distinctive about it. But uh, No, if there was, it wouldn't be in the disgusting beer review. <laughs> it could be it, distinctly it, it, disgusting. It, it, it does have a little bit, a little bit of a sweeter aftertaste to it, but I wouldn't say it's a sweet beer. But it definitely has a little bit of a sugary aftertaste to it. Um, it is uh, less, of, less of an aftertaste than some of the other than some of the other cheaper beers. Oh, all in all, I don't think it, all in all, I don't think it's that bad. I, so you drink this again? I would drink this again. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I think it's, I think it tastes better than. Um, <sighs> the, Saint I, the Saint Ives for sure. It tastes, I think it tastes better than the uh, um, that other light beer that we had, the Molson Ice. I think it tastes better than the Molson Ice. I think it has a little bit better flavor to it. I think it's a little bit smoother also. So if you were rolling in Madison at a Wisconsin football game, you'd be down in those. I'd be down for about 80 of these. 80 yeah. or so. Get a buzz going. Nice. I would, pair, I would pair this, actually, I would pour this and mix it with Lucky Charms. Oh, wow, that is... If you're going to go sweet, you might as well go all the way. Go big or go home, you know? <laughs> just, I, I, usually you take a pairing that contrasts. In, in, this, in this aspect, I would go with in, in parallel. Just I would try to accentuate the positive of this beer, the sugary aftertaste to it, and just go all the way. So It might be like sugar overload. Absolutely. So you get, you get the oats of the Lucky Charms, and then with the magical rainbows and horseshoes. Nice. Good to go. What do you think, Biscuit? Biscuit says it's magically delicious. Yeah. And, and, and what kind that? of rating we're going to get on this? Biscuit, give us a bit. Biscuit drink that? He might, yeah, he probably would. He's German. Wow. You're going three Marquez on this one. Three.